Hello, I'm Jessica, and hopefully next week will be the first episode of a brand new series on this channel, a series in which I play on a realm with several other people, and I'm going to be playing in a mountain biome, an extreme hills biome, and I have a confession to make. I'm kind of terrified of silverfish. So I thought I'd make a video on how to avoid silverfish in Minecraft. This is going to be a fairly short video, I'm just going to share a few tips on how to avoid them. First of all, let's talk about where silverfish can be found. I am currently in a mountain biome, and that is where silverfish can be found. This is the main place where silverfish can be found, is inside all this stone. There's a good chance that you'll find a couple of silverfish blocks. But they can also be found inside woodland mansions, igloos with basements, and strongholds. Now let's talk about finding them in mountains. Earlier I filled some silverfish blocks inside this mountain with cobwebs. And as you can see, although I selected a large area to be filled, only a few blocks were actually filled with cobwebs. Because it turns out that silverfish blocks in mountains are actually pretty rare. And there's not a very good chance that you'll come across one, unless you get fairly unlucky. So I wouldn't be too worried about it myself. But, notice how they spawn in clusters. Now this is a very small sample size, and of course you can't always trust that this will happen. But as far as I can tell from the pattern I've seen here, silverfish blocks do tend to spawn in clusters. So so, if you encounter one silverfish block in a mountain biome, just run away from it. Get away from the silverfish as fast as you can, because if you try to hit it, it will summon its buddies and then you'll have a hard time. But if you leave it alone, you shouldn't run into any other silverfish blocks than if you can lead it out of range and hopefully kill it and none of its friends will come and kill you. So that is what I would advise. Be careful of clusters, but don't worry too much about silverfish blocks in mountains because they're not very common. Now let's talk about silverfish in strongholds. Now, a while ago I posted a video called Minecraft The Secret of Stronghold Silverfish, which I was rather disappointed didn't get many views because I thought it was a really cool video showing off something very neat. Now take a look at this stronghold. Notice how everything is filled with cobwebs? That was me. That wasn't the game putting random cobwebs in the stronghold. That was me. I actually tried to fill a bunch of silverfish blocks with cobwebs. And what I showed in that video I just talked about, the secret of stronghold f silverfish, is still true in 1.14. I've just tested it. Silverfish in strongholds only spawn in regular stone brick blocks. That means that any of these mossy or cracked stone bricks you see here cannot possibly contain a silverfish unless you're close to the spawner, of course, in which case the silverfish, the silverfish could be inside any block. But if you're not anywhere close to the silverfish spawner, you don't have to worry about any blocks except for the normal stone bricks, these ones right here. Which means that if you want to avoid silverfish when going through a stronghold, all you have to do is punch through the cracked and mossy ones instead of the regular ones and you will be just fine. Now, this has been classified as a bug in the Minecraft bug tracker, but honestly, it's been in the game for a while, and like, I'm not sure they're gonna fix it anytime soon, so feel free to take advantage of it while you can. Just be careful when you're mining through walls not to click any longer than necessary, otherwise you might end up hitting a hidden stone brick silverfish block, and then you could actually be in trouble. Because, of course, now silverfish blocks break instantaneously. And finally, let's talk about how to break silverfish blocks without having to deal with them. It's pretty simple. Silk touch. Notice how when I break this block, it's a silverfish block. That's normal. They're all silverfish blocks. All of these are silverfish blocks. But when I break it with silk touch, I can break it just fine, and it actually drops a normal block. Not a silverfish block, but a normal uninfested block. So that's a pretty cool tip. If you break silverfish blocks with a silk touch pickaxe, they will break instantaneously, but you'll get the regular block back, and you won't have a silverfish to deal with, which is really nice. If you're making a mini game where you want people to be able to break blocks instantaneously, you could just give them a silk touch pickaxe and a whole bunch of silverfish blocks. So if you're ever worried about silverfish blocks, you could always just mine with a silk touch pickaxe, and then you'll end up with building blocks, which would be really nice. And you won't have to worry about 
silverfish coming to attack you. So my friends, that's going to be about it for this video. It was short, I know, but I hope you got some useful tips out of it. The stronghold thing, I'm really glad it still works. I think it's a cool little secret. And I'm definitely going to be using this information in my own Realms series, which you should totally check out, by the way. It's going to be awesome. Because I was worried about silverfish in the mountains, and as it turns out, I don't need to be worried, and I know what to do if I find one. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!